Excuse me, please. What a poser. The plinth was showing the toy's tracking data. image being displayed on the hollow plinth had changed. Keep a smile on your face. There was one thing I was sure of. That was not a bonsai tree. image being displayed on the hollow plinth had changed. The hollow lens now projected fragmented data. Whoever had sent me this email attachment was trying to tell Graham something. But what? Swap the lens for the broken one from the lockbox. It was a secret message. Aspiration Gala. Midnight. Be there. The Gala. That's tonight. And I need to be there. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? To the Aspiration Platform. I'm afraid that the Aspiration Gala is not open yet. You will need a formal invitation to attend. Joey? What's up, Foster? Any advice? Foster, I spent ten years in a glass coffin. What am I supposed to say? Avoid poison apples? Uh, any advice? Eat, breathe, and poop. Oh, and...
and make sure you get an oil change every now and then. Uh, any advice? If you're ever locked in a glass case, ask if they can put you by a window. Not much else, though. Thanks, Joey. Any advice? You know what to look good on you? Sandals. Socks, too. Trust me, fashion's my middle name. Uh, any advice? Hey, I might be the smart one, but that doesn't mean I have all the answers. Besides, you'll feel better if you work some things out for yourself. You don't have a clue, do you? Not the slightest. Useful as ever. Let's talk later, Joey. Okay, Foster. Please embark now. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Actually, I'd like to stay here. Of course, Citizen Graham. Excuse me, Songbird? Oh, you're back. So you're supposed to go to this Aspiration Gala? I prefer the term destined. After all these years, finally a high enough kudos level to get me to high places. The Aspiration Gala? This is my chance to soar. The sort of kudos levels that are gonna be there. My social status will skyrocket. Sounds like fun. This isn't some kid's birthday party. It's about tracking myself out of the gutter and moving one step closer to the lower level. Can I get tickets to the Aspiration Gala? Oh, darling. You stole the wrong ID. Classic Foster. Graham wouldn't make the guest list? Not by a mo- uh -huh. He wouldn't even get the cleaning gig the morning after. Opposites attract, I suppose. Please. It was thanks to me that he wasn't shifted up top. And thanks to him that I'm stuck here. I really need to get to the Aspiration Gala. <sighs> what do you care? A little above your station, don't you think? Whereas people like me belong there. Can you get me tickets? Darling, even if I could, you're not exactly gala material. Compliment received. Why don't you run off and find Reginald, or that stuck-up droid of his, Tarquin? They might be a little more... charitable. I need to get tickets for tonight's gala. Like I said, you'll have better luck speaking to Reginald or Tarquin. Bye, Songbird. Yeah, bye. Got a minute? Apologies if my loquacious musings disturbed one. Hello again. Good evening, Master Grundy. Are you going to the Aspiration Gala? Going? One is headlining, sir. What do you mean? Yours truly is performing in front of the best and brightest of Union City. Performing what? Droid poetry, sir. Oh boy. So this poetry performance you mentioned, what's the story? Ah, one has been invited to recite a humorous poem of one's own devising at tonight's Aspiration Gala. You, a droid, have been tasked with writing a poem? Oh, yes, sir. 
The poet laureate Reginald Arthur Schnippel Esquire performs regularly at the gala, and this year he has invited me to open for him by reading an inspirational and humorous example of droid poetry on stage. Droid poetry? How's that working out? Very good, sir. Reginald has told me that whatever I read, it will be hilarious, and the people will laugh uncontrollably. Hmm. Laugh at or laugh with. Oh, is there a difference? That's what I thought. If I gave you a bit of inspiration for your poem, could you get me into the gala? Sir, that would be only fair. I'm sure Sir would enjoy the fruits of that inspiration at the performance. I realized if I could help Tarquin with his poem, he could get me into the gala. Could I hear some of your droid poetry? Fine idea. One would value the input of an average human. If you're looking for average, he's your man. After 148,606 iterations, I have narrowed down the contenders to a manageable number. Here is number 59. <clears throat> there was once an A from place B, with unforeseen predicate P. Factor F occurred next, which resulted in X, and hilarious consequence C. Ha! Brilliant! Bravo! It might be a little... on the nose. Dear me, it's not about noses. It is a study of the structure of a limerick, assembled into the pattern of an actual limerick. How very... clever. Indeed. That is what makes it so very funny. Absolutely. So Reginald's the go-to guy for inspiration, hmm? Absolutely. His wit and insight is renowned. And yet he's asked you to perform alongside him. Yes, for comparison. I see. You got any other poems in the running? Oh, yes, sir. One has a list of things humans find funny. Shoot. <clears throat> Uncooked sausages, dogs wearing costumes, music of the tuba, children falling down, undone zippers, people dropping sandwiches, knock-knock jokes, and the smell of farts. <laughs> That one was pretty good. I don't get that one at all. But it has a good beat, and it's easy to dance to. The rhythmic structure is satisfying, is it not, sir? Very. And the farts, sir? That's the best bit. Where would I find Reginald? Well, he is likely in the piazza, finalizing his humorous poem for tonight's event. But I am his servant, not his keeper, sir. Any more poems? Oh, of course. This poem is an attempt to bring droids and humans closer together. It interlaces the brain-altering ingredients of Spankles with the first 100 digits of the square root of two. Sounds like a hit already. <clears throat> Cyclomate of sodium. 1.41421. Flavorant toxicity. Potassium benzoate 09504880168872. High fructose. I think I get the idea. But there are 13 more verses. Oh, Foster, let him finish. It's got something for everybody. 4209698. Monosodium. Save it for the gala. Don't want to spoil the show now, do you? So just to be clear, I give you inspiration, you get me into aspiration. Inspiration for aspiration. That's rather clever. And it rhymes. Sir's genius is luminescent. In that case, let me go see what I can find. Any more poems? One has decided to continue working on the fart poem. But do let one know, should Sir find inspiration to offer, one will make it worth Sir's while. I'll keep my eyes open. Still working on finding that inspiration. Glad to hear it. Unrelated question. Any idea where I might find Reginald? Well, he is likely in the piazza. Final Great. So just to be clear, 
I give you inspiration. Inspiration? In that case, let me go see what I can find. Any more poems? One has decided to continue, but do... I'll keep my eyes open. Later, Tarquin. Have a good day, Mr. Grun Day. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? The piazza is the place for me. It would be my pleasure, Citizen Graham. Tarquin's master, Reginald, was supposed to be around here somewhere. Scan your U-chip to place an order. Got a minute? It is so good to see you, Mr. Grundy. Later, Hollow. Come back if you want that aspiration brooch customized. Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch here. I was looking for an eccentric poet, and Reginald certainly fit the bill. Apologies, but this is the VIP lounge. You do not currently hold the required kudos value. Please scan your UCHIP to place an order. Can I ask you a few questions? I'm here to serve. Do you know the guy in the VIP lounge? Of course. That would be the wonderful Sir Reginald Arthur Schnipple, Union City's Poet Laureate. Is he any good? Oh, yes. He comes to tell me quite often how brilliant he is. Or that the music is too distracting. Can you let me in the VIP lounge? Alas, no. Once everyone is special, then nobody is. What's Reginald doing in there? Other than enjoying the cafe's fine playlist? Working on his latest piece, I believe. He's performing at the Aspiration Gala, you know. Why does Reginald come here to work? For the stimulating and creative atmosphere, I imagine. We do have to be careful with the music, though. What do you mean? Let's just say Sir Reginald has a singular taste in music. See you later. You feel a thirst to come in? You talk to me.
one fresh premium spangles. Please scan your UCHIP to place an order. Apologies, but this is the VIP lounge. You do not currently hold the required kudos value. Hey, Joey. What? Busy around here. Not really. Are you kidding? I can't remember the last time I was around this many people. Oh, people? Yeah. I assumed you were talking about droids. That Reginald fellow seems pretty full of himself. Yeah, but you can't deny the man has talent. How do you know? He told me. We need inspiration to help Tarquin with his poem. Great. Where can we buy some? Inspiration isn't something you buy, it's intangible. Well, if we can't buy it, can we steal some? What part of intangible are you not getting? What are we doing here again? Helping Tarquin with his poem. Oh, yeah. Where can we get some inspiration for Tarquin? Let's find someone with bags of inspiration. Good start. Then we'll hit them with something and steal it. I don't think that's how it works. Tarquin needs a good poem. But the only guy around here with poetry skills is the poet himself. Well, let's hack into his head and take all his data. Humans don't work that way. Can't we just try? Let's move on. Lead the way. Apologies, but this is the VIP lounge. You do not currently hold the required kudos value. Please scan your UCHIP to place an order. One fresh premium spankles. Please scan your UCHIP to place an order. Apologies, but this is the VIP lounge. You do not currently One fresh hold the premium required kudos value. Can I ask you a few questions? I'm here to serve. See you later. You feel a thirst to come in? You talk to me. The 
The sound system projected music around the whole cafe. Please scan your U-chip to place an order. was working hard at what I assumed was his latest poem. Excuse me. What? Oh, yes, all right, if you insist, I do have time for a selfie. What? I completely understand. It's not every day you run into poet laureate Reginald Arthur Schnipple Esquire, is it now? No, it's me, Graham Grundy. Ah, yes, Grundy, hero of the hour. I've always wondered, where do you get your ideas from? Oh, there's a quaint little ideas shop down in the Purple Quarter. Really? No, dear boy. I am demonstrating what some of us are blessed to call wit. Can I read some of your poetry? Aha, cheeky. Get me a drink first. Okay, what are you having? Figure of speech, dear boy. No, you can't read my poetry, but you shall hear it later tonight. How about this music, huh? Ah, this is my favorite spot to come and write. The people, the drink, the music, just perfect. Sophisticated sounds, wouldn't you agree? Each to his own, I guess. What are you drinking? Ah, my secret vice. Hemingway, Wild, Yeats. Can ye? Schnipple. A burden we all bear. What flavor? Strawberry. Wouldn't you prefer to work somewhere more private? My friend, a flower cannot grow in darkness. The seed of inspiration can only flourish in the light of day. What about potatoes? They grow in the dark. What on earth is a potato? The thing they make french fries out of. Goodness. Next you'll be telling me the ketchup grows on a vine. <laughs> I'm looking for some inspiration on writing poetry. My dear boy, please do not mistake these luscious locks for those of a creative muse. I just figured you could help me out. Listen, I'll stick to poetry and you stick to whatever it is you do. Could you share some of your inspiration? Oh, afraid not, old chap. My secrets are secure on my tablet, and there they shall remain. To be revealed only in the course of my brilliant oration at tonight's gala. I heard a rumor that you'll be speaking at the Aspiration Gala tonight. Ah, how could it be a rumor when it is the Joey-spoken truth, hmm? Indeed, I have had the honor of headlining the gala since its inception. This year, I have a particular treat for the audience to enjoy. <laughs> oh, you mean Tarquin and the droid poetry? Bless that loquacious mechanical jewel. I was quite clear that it was to be our secret. Will you be at the gala? I'd like to, but my kudos isn't high enough. Shame. I'm brewing up a proper chuckle this year. But fear not. You can catch it tomorrow when they stream the whole thing. Joy unbounded. I was just speaking to your droid, Tarquin. Ha <laughs> ha! He didn't send you here to steal all my good ideas, did he? What? Of course not. Between you and me, I cannot wait to see what sort of inspiration a droid comes up with. Do you have any tips to help Tarquin with his poems? Ha! <laughs> What rhymes with hopeless? I don't see how that's going to help anyone. Exactly. Can you get me into the Aspiration Gala? <laughs> Good one. I'm serious. So am I. 
Listen, I understand your disappointment, but you can watch it on your terminal tomorrow. Despair ye not. Reginald wasn't nearly as cooperative as his butler. I'd need to rely on Tarquin for those gala tickets. What if I told you Tarquin's poem was hilarious? Why, dear boy, do not even joke of such things. His poetry will indeed be highly amusing, though certainly not as a result of any deliberate acts of witticism. Don't let me interrupt the genius at work. Too late! <laughs> Poet was working hard at what I assumed was his latest poem. Please scan your U-chip to place an order. Please scan your new chip to place an order. Hey, Reggie. It's Reginald to you, and yes? Later, Reggie. See you tonight, or perhaps not. Can of Spankles. There you are, you naughty little Spankles. Come back to Papa. Please scan your new chip to place an order.
Hey, Reggie. It's Reginald to you, and yes? Later, Reggie. See you tonight, or perhaps not. Please scan your U-chip to place an order. Wishes all citizens a happy aspiration day. I could see from her uniform that this was a diagnostician. Reginald was giving the cafe droid a hard time about the changed music. I would like this remedied immediately. Affirmative. Your request has been noted. This issue will be solved as soon as possible. Thank you for your patience. was spitting out the occasional motivational message. Excuse me. This isn't over, you know. What is it? Reg? Yes? Later, Reggie. See you tonight! Or perhaps not.
Speaker robots were now in alarm mode. Come on. Please scan your user to place an order. Would you just look at all those vertices? Take in a wonderful scene. For I love Union City, the colors so pretty, I'm sure all here know what I mean. ventured one day to my favorite cafe to partake in a wonderful scene. For I love Union City, the colors so pretty, I'm sure all here know what I mean. I ventured one day to my favorite cafe to partake in a wonderful scene. For I love Union City, the colors so pretty, I'm sure all here know what I mean. I ventured one day to my favorite cafe to partake in a wonderful scene. For I love Union City, the colors so pretty, I'm sure all here know what I mean. Hey, got a minute? For you, sir? I have all day. Later, Hollow. Come back if you want that aspiration brooch customized. Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch here. Happy aspiration day, sir. Now, step two. Time to choose your favorite hologram. Do they do anything different? Oh, no, sir. It's purely cosmetic. Once you've made your choice, you'll be all set. Please choose your desired hologram. I think the Spankles head really speaks to my identity. Wonderful choice. You're sure to be the life of the day's celebrations. There, your aspiration brooch is ready to collect. Thanks. I now had Reginald's poetry on my aspiration brooch. Just what Tarquin was after. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Take me to my apartment. Certainly, Citizen Graham.
You just got a minute? Apologies if my loquacious musings disturbed one. Hello again. Good day, Master Grundy. I've found you some inspiration. Bravo, sir. And where was it? It's always in the last place you look. Would sir care to share? Absolutely. Here you go. Oh, sir. What an assembly of words. This will have the humans sitting with their backs against the backs of their chairs and their arms upon the armrests. This is sure to conjure heightened emotions from Master Reginald when one reads it. Oh, you bet. I don't want to find out which emotions. Thank you, sir. Now, may one bestow upon sir a token of gratitude. If by that you mean hand me a ticket to the gala, then yes. One does indeed. Thank you, Tarquin. And best of luck at the performance. No, sir. Thank you. This will be a night to remember. Oh, there is one small issue, sir. What's that? I do believe your attire is somewhat inadequate for the soiree this eve. Perhaps I can find something for you. That'd be most appreciated. Looking sharp, Rob. Got a minute? Excuse me. Is something the matter? Hello again. Good day, Master Grundy. Are you happy with your inspiration? Oh, yes, sir. One cannot wait for tonight. Neither can, sir. Later, Tarquin. Have a good day, Mr. Grun Day. Excuse me, sir. You changed clothes. What's the occasion? Going to the party. The Aspiration Gala? You really think they'd let you in? I'm on the guest list. Tarquin sorted it for me. Oh, Tarquin sorted it for me. Well, you'd better be on your best behavior. The world still thinks you're Graham, and I don't want any trouble. Oh, I never cause trouble. What does a Gaplander want with a party anyway? The missing kids. I think the people responsible will be at the Aspiration Gala. Okay, new rule. No crackpot theories until after the party. And hurry up or we'll be late. Gala. Isn't it wonderful? It really is. I've worked so hard for this moment. Do not ruin it for me. We'll be on our best behavior. As I stared at the opulence of this Aspiration Gala extravaganza, my eye was caught by a movement on a walkway. These had to be the people that I was looking for, the people who would lead me to Milo. I had to find a way to get up to that walkway and find out where they were going. Curb that human instinct, Foster. This is no time for snacks. 
It looked pretty tasty, but I was at the party to find answers, not snacks. I'm very sorry, Mentor Alonzo. I don't know what happened. It won't do, Astrid. Won't do at all. This is the Aspiration Gala, after all. Yes, sir. Of course. And you said you believe the firework projector was... tampered with? I'm not entirely sure, but it was working perfectly during the rehearsals. Regardless, I trust that the issue really is now resolved and that you'll be keeping a closer eye on things from now on. Oh, yes, sir. And you won't have to keep leaving your station unsupervised? Absolutely not. You can count on me. Now, back to work, hmm? Mr. Grundy, what a pleasant surprise. Of course, Aspiration Day always does deliver surprises. It's all about who you know, isn't it? Indeed. I'd be very interested to find out more about who exactly you know. I was wondering if you'd seen any odd behavior at the party. Odd? Suspicious how? You know what? Never mind. Sorry to have bothered you. <laughs> no bother, Mr. Grundy. But I must warn you, if you've observed any suspicious behavior, you must report it to the relevant authority immediately. Understood, Mentor Alonzo. What he said. So, what are you doing here, Alonzo? I'm here to supervise everyone's well-being. Like Officer Arana? Officer Arana was in charge of the preparations. I'm here to make sure the event itself runs smoothly. Sounds like a tough gig. It won't be. Things never go wrong in Union City. How's it all going, Alonzo? Smooth sailing, as expected. Let's keep it that way, yes? Is Officer Arana coming tonight? Why do you ask? Are you in need of well-being support? He loves her. No, no, I just assumed she'd be here. Well, as a matter of fact, she was here a moment ago. You must have just missed her. Where did she go? I have no idea. A busy little bee, that one. Enjoying the party? The Aspiration Gala never fails to put a smile on my face. And I look forward to Reginald's poetic display with undiluted pleasure. His past efforts have always been so amusing. Thanks, Alonso. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Foster, word of advice, never trust a guy with big eyebrows. Joey? That's my name. Don't wear it out. We're exactly where the message said to be. The Aspiration Gala. So now what? By the abrupt tone of that message, I don't think Graham was cordially invited here to try the canapes. Me neither. We need to get after those people. They've got to be Graham's contacts. Who do you think those people were? What? You mean those two monkeys climbing the side of the building? No idea. But I think if you're here looking to uncover something sneaky, they're the best example of sneaky I've seen. That Alonzo sure doesn't like me much. I don't know about that. He seemed to be smiling the whole time. Remind me to teach you about subtlety one of these days. 
What do you think of this party? <laughs> Not enough explosions. Since when do parties have explosions? Oh. <laughs> I forgot we travel in different circles now. If we don't hurry, we're gonna lose the trail of those two people who went up the building. Yeah. How do we get higher? Well, you can fly. Let me rephrase. How do you get higher? Let's keep thinking. I feel so out of place at this party. You should. I don't think anyone here aspires to be more foster. Now, me, on the other hand. Let's get back to it. Whoa, party! Oh, you meant back to work. Hey, Raquel. Good to see you. Sir, and you are... Graham Grundy, remember? Have we met before, sir? It was odd. She really didn't recognize me. Well, sure, at the apartments. You nearly fell? No, uh, I'd definitely remember something like that, don't you think? Anyway, I, I see you've got your ticket, but... But? This is a general entry ticket, not a VIP ticket. I'm afraid that you don't have access to this area. I'm so sorry. Enjoy the rest of the gala. I had no need to enter the VIP section. I was here for the secret meeting. mysterious figure had gotten upstairs somehow. I was sure that if I could get past the technician and snoop around, I could give chase. It was a hand scanner. An intercom system connected to the control room above. How does the elevator work? Like an elevator? But it's staff only, not for guests of the party. I need to get up to that control room. Nah, -uh. official employees only. It's an emergency. There isn't even a toilet up here. Come quick, the fireworks are going crazy. They look perfectly good from up here. Can I see the control room? Canopies are downstairs, sir. Can you let me up to there? Sorry, sir. Staff only. Can you bring down the elevator? Not unless I'm coming down with it. And I need to keep an eye on things up here. Something has gone wrong with the fireworks. You and I have a very different idea of wrong. They're working fine. That's all. Bye, then. Powerful spray was drenching the tree and everything around it. The one can a day limit didn't exactly support a thirst for spankles.
is it? That's all. Bye then. on its firework parties. I don't know why I'm saying. Just making conversation. Something has gone wrong with the fireworks. You and I have a very different idea of wrong. They're working fine. Actually, never mind. Okay, bye.
the one can a day limit didn't exactly support a thirst for spankles. Mr. Grundy, what appears to be happening here? I think this machine is broken. It just set off the alarm out of nowhere. Really? How odd. It's almost as if your presence here has something to do with it. Really? I can't imagine how. No? Must be just... coincidence. Indeed. Hmm. Well, perhaps stay away from the machine for now. Come on, Joey, we're going up in the world. Yeah. 
You'd think if I was running a city, I'd install some decent elevator music, huh? This had to be where the shadowy figure had come from. It looked like someone had been having their own little party upstairs. Going through the vent. Age before beauty. If you say so. Oh man. Forgot how old this show was. Okay, move. Can't say I'm not a droid of my word. Thank you, Joey. It looked like Tarquin and Reginald were about to perform. The excitement was bearable. After all the effort I'd put in to get that poem, I had to see it performed live. People of Union City! Is everyone feeling aspirational today? I cannot hear you, but first, once again it is I, Poet Laureate Reginald Arthur Schnipple, Esquire, to titillate your taste buds and waggle your wits. I know you all love a giggle and a guffaw, and making you giggle is one of my favorite things. So this year, I thought it would be hilarious to see what happens if I asked a droid to write a poem all on his own. So, without further ado, I'd like to bring up a very special guest. My very own Fidelis II domestic savant, Tarquin! Ah, oh, this should be good, folks. <laughs> and don't worry. However this goes, I'll be bringing up the rear with a cracker of my own. Go on, Tarquin! Show these good people what you've got! <clears throat> I ventured one day to my favorite cafe to partake in a wonderful scene. For I love Union City, the colors so pretty. I'm sure all here know what I mean. With spankles in hand, I sat next to a man, his grin unmistakably forced. I asked him his woe, and he said, oh, you know, just the typical small things, of course. My flat isn't right, my pants are too tight, my link sometimes loses connection. My droid's a bit worn, and my left sock is torn, and I'm long overdue for reflection. But sir, I then said, there's a roof overhead. Pants are tight cause there's food in your tummy. Sock is torn, take it off. Go barefoot for a laugh. You see glum where I only see funny. You live in a place that caters all tastes. A bottomless sheer cornucopia. Edible, drinkable, it's rather unthinkable to groan when you live in Utopia. So next time your grin feels a little bit grim, 
and your flat feels a little bit pap. Change that mood if you like, or if not, take a hike, cause there's plenty of room in the gap. Tarquin, that was incredibly inspired. Well, thank you, thank you. One cannot wait to hear your poem, sir. Uh, yes, well, uh, perhaps a five-minute break first. Uh... Well, that was certainly something. That ladder was where the mysterious figure had gone. I had to follow. Shut up, Joey, and keep an eye out. That vehicle, it's the same as the one that stole Milo. Guess that means we're in the right place. think I am. I know you're not Graham Grundy. You've been lying to me since the moment we met. What the hell have you done with the real Graham? And who the hell are you? My real name is... Robert! Danielle Piermont? The lady from the museum? What on earth is a nice boy like you doing in a back alley like this? Arana, dear, please! You can stop! But his mother and I were at school together. You can trust him, I promise. Can someone please explain what the hell is going on? Graham Grundy is dead. You killed him for his ID? Robert! Ah, oh, dear. That's harsh. No. I found Graham's body outside the gates. He'd been dead for days. I was looking for a child who was kidnapped in one of those vehicles. I needed a way into the city. Graham's ID was the answer. The poor boy. I told him not to try anything stupid. This is all my fault. Oh, Rana, dear, don't be hard on yourself. Graham knew what he was doing. My name is Robert Foster. I've come from the Gap. A few days ago, one of those vehicles attacked my village. The androids were armed. We couldn't stop them. They took my friend, Milo. He's just a kid. This is just awful! So you were both friends with Graham? I didn't think he had any friends. Friends, allies, whatever you want to call it. Graham was working at the land train entrance when he saw one of these things coming into the city. These things? You mean the stalkers? 
I thought they were called creepers. We call them walkers. Whatever they're called. Here comes another one. The girl in the stalker. I recognized her. Ember. Graham was right. Those things are carrying children. Whatever they're doing to them. It's inside that building. Then that's where I'll find Milo. Now then, I must get back to the gala. I fear my absence from the festivities may already be apparent. You two, find out where they're taking those children. Two? You mean three, don't you? That's my plan. Lovely to see you again, Robert. You too, Ms. Piermont. Oh, and Arana? Yes? Trust him. He's from good stock. That elevator transported the stalker into the building. We need to find a way to get it working. What if another one of those big beasts shows up? Okay, I'll keep watch. Reckon you and your sidekick can figure it out? Huh. We got this far. She was talking to me, Rob. Can you see a button anywhere? I don't think this place was designed for visitors. Foster, I have auto-linked to the system. Perhaps... Come on, there's no way... You were saying... Hey, Arana, we found a way... You took quite a hit there. Whoa. What's going on? It's okay, Foster. Just lie still. Don't be afraid. I'm here now. Joey. You're Joey. It's good to see you, Foster. Where am I? It's okay. You're safe now. There was an explosion. Orana, what's happened to... Don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. Joey, it's so good to see you again. I should have come back earlier. Hey, it's no problem. Could have helped you. No need, old friend. The Council have everything under control. But that's just it. The Council. You have to stop them. They're... Shh. Calm now. Plenty of time to talk when you're better. Need to get you fixed first. Fixed? What do you mean? Just relax, old friend. Soon have that smile back on your face. This doesn't make any sense. Guess I got what it takes. These doors just open for me. Joey, get back! Huh? Don't shoot! Confirmed. Welcome to level 4 UG. That went well. I'll say. Are we allowed to be here? I just got it. The system is finally recognizing me for who I truly am. Joey. Great. That mean you can disable the android? If this shell had any sort of weapon, it would be a whole lot easier. But I'll give it a go. Wait right here. Right here. Brilliant. This is my time to shine. That android is heading for a fall. <laughs> 